Welcome to Hull Women and Children's Hospital. I'm Lorraine Cooper, Head of Midwifery, and we look forward to supporting and caring for you on your maternity journey. Hull Women and Children's Hospital is located on the site of the Royal Infirmary on Annleby Road. Everything you need on your maternity journey is in one building. As you turn into the main site, you'll see the Women and Children's Unit on the right. There's a small car park at the front of the building, with additional parking in the main car park on Argyle Street. Make your way from the parking areas to the main entrance. If you were here for an antenatal appointment, the main reception can direct you to the outpatient department on the ground floor. The reception will direct you to the waiting area, where someone will collect you for your appointments. It's here where you will have your scans and any appointments with your midwife or consultant. The maternity unit is over three floors, so on the ground floor that tends to be the outpatient departments and up on the first floor we've got Maple Ward which is our antenatal ward and then we've got Rowan Ward which is our postnatal ward. When you're ready to give birth, take the lift to the labour ward on the second floor. We have the labour ward which is split into the high risk area and at the other side of the ward we have the AMLU which is the alongside midwifery led unit so that is where low risk women can go and have their low risk births. So for the midwifery led unit we have three rooms. Those rooms comprise of a birthing area, they have the pools in each room. It's really it's a lovely environment to be in and it's more about having an active low risk birth on that side. The theatre's just at the end of the ward. There's two theatres. There's one that we normally do the emergencies and one where we do elective work, which is normally done in the morning. You may be discharged directly from the labour ward or transferred to the postnatal ward on the first floor before going home. Babies who need special care will be transferred to the neonatal ward on the second floor. Parents can stay with their babies in accommodation provided on this ward. Once back at home, you will continue to be supported by the Community Midwife Team. We've got a team of people that are here to provide care for women at whatever point in their journey. 